Whiteout, I guess, at Finley? Penn State shouldn't be worried. Mox tied at three, and Chase Artopius looks around and finds Jay Gibson in the flat for a touchdown 10-3 Mox lead. Third quarter with the Mox leading 10-5. Artopius scampers. Looks like he's throwing it away, but it's hauled in for a huge play, setting up an eventual first and goal from inside the one. Artopius well, he takes it under center, and he can just keep it himself. Get in for the score, 17-5. to You can hear Rusty yelling, that was a touchdown after that carry. Later on in the third quarter, Artopius showing, wait, what, the spin move? Where did that come from? And he gets into the end zone and slams the ball with authority, 24-5 Mox lead. Chase gets two rushing touchdowns in the third quarter, and the Mox defense gets three picks while allowing only three points, and the Mox win. 37 to 5. Mox knew they had to come out strong in the third quarter with just that 10 to 5 lead. Room at halftime for us to come out and play the best third quarter we've played all year, and it was. You know, they, they took that challenge and, and uh, it showed. I don't know how many we scored in the third quarter, but I mean, we did what we were supposed to do. We kicked off, we stopped them. The offense got, I mean, you know, things just kept happening, and, and it's what you're supposed to do. But the biggest thing was just the, the halftime, the poise that we showed in that halftime. I know you guys aren't in there, but. You know, I don't think anybody was really um, faltering or panicking or anything like that. It was kind of like, we got this, let's go, let's keep going. Um, you know, defense came out, made some plays, uh, and we were able to be opportunistic on those plays. And yeah, I think we were able to put up, I don't know how many points we put up in the third quarter, but it was like 17 or something, I think, or maybe 14. But it was a good third quarter to come.